I'm Jake Bruton, and today on The Build Show, we're gonna talk about trust but verify, my mantra. And we're gonna re-blow our door test three previous houses and talk about what the new test results mean. Let's do it now, let's go to those other two jobs. talk a ton in the past about trust but verify. If we're not testing our houses, then we can't make claims about how they perform. If we're not uh, blower door testing, then you can't claim that you make or that you build a, a, a tight home. Uh, we even go as far as we ask for energy bills from all of our clients. Uh, and we have some clients that are qualifying for passive house, including my personal house from that energy usage kilowatt hours per square foot calculation. But one of the things that we haven't done before, before today, is retest uh, previous houses after the clients have the house. So today we tested our Prairie House Aero, we tested our Hybrid House, and then we're testing our Spring Valley House. Uh, and what did we find? We found that we don't understand the results. <laughs> so. Uh, the Prairie House Aero tested at 0.57 ACH 50 the first time. It tested slightly above one. It tested at 1.0 uh, today. The uh, Hybrid House tested at 0.54 ACH 50 the first time and 0.52 ACH 50 this time. Uh, and then my house, we just ran the test. It tested at 0.6 ACH 50 today. When we moved in a year and a couple months ago, it tested at 0.43. Now, all three of those numbers for the first test are our HERS rater. They are not, uh, they're not new numbers that we tested. The, the new numbers are our numbers, but the original numbers, those are from the HERS rater. So we have different door, we have different person operating the test, we have different test conditions. So we expect them to not be identical. Identical wouldn't make any logical sense. Uh, if there's a wind out there or a temperature difference, there is a ton of stuff that can make the test results be different than what they were uh, the first time. However, I would say the tests that are basically the same at our hybrid house, that 0.54 to 0.52, that is the same thing. That's confirmation that everything there is still operating under the same pressure. Uh, here we went from 0.43 to 0.6. That's really close, but still not the same. We have something going on. Maybe the damper on the hood isn't closing as well today. Maybe the, the damper on the dryer or our makeup air system. Uh, it's been very cold. There's been a little bit of freezing rain. Maybe we have something that's stuck open a tiny bit and it's allowing a leak. I'm not quite sure, but I'm not panicked by those numbers. 0.6 is still a fantastic number. We'd still be happy if we had moved in at a house that was 0.6. So 0.43 to 0.6 is not a challenge. Now, the question is, what about that prairie house? Uh, the prairie house, I, I think that we have to go back and test it another time. I think if we test it again in a couple months, when the temperature's really close to the inside on a still day, Maybe we get a different result, maybe we don't. If we don't, then we have a, okay, what did, what did we do that's not lasting here? All of the same stuff for the most part that's here or at the hybrid house was applied at the prairie house. The only real difference were a couple sealant choices and a window manufacturer. And I wouldn't think that windows would be uh, twice as leaky in a three or four year period as what they were when we bought them. So. I'm gonna say we didn't learn anything today. Uh, what we learned was our methods are still working some of the time and potentially not some of the time. But I don't think that we know a real answer until we test again. So I think we do have to do this again, maybe in six months, maybe in a year, to see what happens. But you better believe that I'm gonna to continue to test my house because we wanna be better every time we build and if we're informed as to how things age, we can make decisions based on uh, what products, what methods, uh, what techniques, whatever it is, we can make decisions that make us a better builder in the future. And I think that that's, that's the more important takeaway than retest with a blower door. The more important takeaway is 
gather as much information as you can and then apply that information. So thanks for watching today on The Build Show. I'm Jake Bruton with Aero Building. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter because there's a lot of great content that comes out all week, every week from The Build Show. And you may miss some of it if you're not catching those emails. Those emails are super informative. They let you know all the cool stuff. I'm super happy that I get to be involved. I learn from, those, from this crew all the time. So till next time from the Spring Valley Aero Project, trust but verify.